Tonight, you're catching me on the third and probably final night of capture on a target that I've been working on, and it's NGC 7000, the Cygnus Wall. Now, it's one of my all-time favorite targets, and I, honestly, I don't think there's a year gone by since I got into astrophotography where I haven't at least tried to take a photograph of this target, and this year, of course, is no exception. I'm gonna be using the gear right here behind me, as you can probably see just on the, uh, the mount there, the Celestron Rasa 8. Coupled up with the Player One Uranus C one shot color camera, that's what I'm using uh, for basically all of my images these days. And uh, I have to say, it's a real winning combination, and I'm hoping this is going to win once again and get me a nice final image of this target to share with all you guys at home. Now, throughout this shoot, I have been putting into practice some of the things that I learned from the last time out during my uh, session where I shot the Cocoon Nebula. But I kind of discovered with a little bit of experimentation that it seems like on my particular setup using this fast telescope and one shot color camera, I'm getting better results from using zero gain and longer exposures than I was even from two minute exposures at a slightly more, perhaps more middling gain. And I found that a really interesting discovery and maybe it's something that I can experiment with even further. Maybe slightly longer exposure still will get better results. Now I've already got about seven hours total on this target and I'm hoping that with tonight on top, I can take it up to about 10 total hours of exposure, which is really an awful lot at this sort of focal ratio. I'm shooting at F2 with this Esprit here. Now for the whole project, of course, I have been using a dual narrowband filter. Uh, I just recently purchased for myself the new IDAS NBZ UHS. That's the ultra high speed duo narrowband filter from those guys and uh, I found it to be a really quality uh, filter all in. Anyway, all that's left to do now is just wait for it to get dark out here. It does look set to be clear right the way through till dawn luckily, so it should be a good session ahead. And I'll catch up with all you guys over on the computer once I'm up and running. Well guys, here we are. The session is well and truly uh, underway at this point. It's one in the morning and unfortunately we have hit a bit of a snag by this point. Uh, there's a lot of clouds just rolled in and uh, aside from that also, it's just been a really uncomfortable night on the whole. It's absolutely roasting actually here in the UK at this point. Uh, we're in the middle of a bit of a heat wave and I really am feeling every single degree of that heat wave in here. This kind of insulated room is uh, <laughs> it's properly boiling. But anyway, uh, not to com uh, complain too much about a bit of good weather for once. Um, this is a reason to complain. Some clouds uh, that don't seem to be wanting to go away. But anyway, all that aside, it doesn't really matter that much. I did get some good data before it all went uh, a little bit south. And uh, in the meantime, I've been keeping myself busy with this kind of thing here. So this is the data that I kind of currently have on uh, the Cygnus wall. I've just been uh, going ahead messing around with processing it in this kind of new style of James Webb Space Telescope. So I took that kind of Carina image that it took um, just over on the right here. Not that I have to point out to you which one is the James Webb <laughs> Space Telescope image. Uh, and just tried to kind of replicate those tones that I'm seeing in it. So um, they don't really clash too badly, I guess, if I put one next to the other just there. Hopefully you can see that the, the color tones at least are roughly similar um, But the things I liked about this image is kind of those that yellows the rusty tones that I kind of found down here and these really really deep blues I'd like to figure out a way to start adding that I think To my own images because I think it might make a nice uh, A nice change of pace from constantly just hubble palette hubble palette hubble palette kind of approaches, but anyway that's what I've been doing. I don't know if I'm going to present the final image in the same style. It was just a little bit of fun, really. And uh, I think I'll make that decision when it comes to the actual full stack. But I thought I'd show you all the same because it's a little bit of fun. But anyway, I think since it's been a little bit of a boiling night and it's uncomfortable, uh, I'm going to leave things around about there and just press on, hopefully, until dawn. And it, I might get a little bit more time in between these clouds. Or oh, maybe they'll pass. Fingers crossed. Um, but anyway, that's probably about it. So uh, I've rambled on enough and 
I'd just like to say if you've enjoyed the video then uh, please do leave a like on it for me as it really really helps me out growing this channel which is something I definitely want to do I'm having so much fun doing it and uh, interacting with all you guys so thanks so much indeed for watching to each and every one of you out there liking subscribing just watching the videos all the things that you do it, uh, it, it really is valued by me and I hope that that comes across properly on the videos so with that said, I think we're going to leave it. So until next time, guys, look after yourselves and uh, clear skies.